how to find the most underrated skins for CS2. Since Counter-Strike will now be running with the Source 2 engine, we have seen many skins receive a huge glow up through the new lighting and surely I'm not the only one who loves the shiny metallic look of some skins. And I thought of making a video about the most underrated skins that received a huge glow up, but instead I want to show you how to find these skins for yourself so you don't have to watch thousands of top 10 videos and waste your time. And how to find them is actually pretty simple. In case you didn't know, every skin doesn't only have a unique artwork, they are also categorized in 9 different paint styles. And you can easily find this by just inspecting the skin and looking at the bottom left. Now at first we got solid color style, spray paint style and hydrographic style. Those skins are simply painted with 4 different colors, while the solid color is self-explanatory, the spray paint style has a pattern and the hydrographic style is a mix of both. But none of these styles look too special in CS2. Next up we got the custom paint style, which means that the skin has a non-pattern based artwork on it. And and although they can look really good, they aren't really shiny in CS2. The paint styles we are looking for are the anodized style, the anodized multicolored style and the anodized airbrush style. Those styles have the shiny metallic look on them and are home to skins like the Hot Rod, Doppler or Blaze, which look extremely gorgeous in Source 2. And last but not least, we have the patina style and the gunsmith style. Now the patina style adds like a new layer to the weapon and is kind of a controversy for CS2 because it's either a hit or miss and I think we deserve to see some improvements for this style before the official release. Kind of the same goes for the gunsmith style which combines the patina and the custom paint style which results in a custom artwork being added as a new layer to the weapon. Now that you know all the different styles you can decide which one you like most and for me it's definitely the anodized styles so I will show you how to find those exact skins. First you'll have to visit csgoskins.gg, huge shout out this is not paid at all and type the paint style you're looking for in the search bar. And boom there they are. Now you can scroll through them and find all the hidden gems like the M4A1S Moss Quartz which looks ass in CSGO but is a really nice skin for CS2 and could potentially go up in price soon. So do your research now before others find out and if you find this video helpful then leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about CSGO and CS2. Much appreciated, good luck and see ya!